So last time we talked, Autumn Volkov, the heir of my legacy challenge, introduced her girlfriend, Addison Chopra, to her parents, while her twin brother, Ezra Volkov, bonded with his niece Sawyer Oklo and caught up with his stepsister, Rory Oklo. When it came to Autumn, her medication dependency had gotten so bad that she wouldn't spend one waking moment without something in her system. She woke up from her nap, immediately reaching for the oregano. The next morning, Alexa Alexis invited her best friend, Candy Zest, over to her house to check on how she was doing as a new werewolf. She was rampaging and had the zoomies, so Alexis pacified her. This being her first time pacifying someone ever, she then gave Candy some more werewolf advice and shared her own experiences as a human turned werewolf. OMG, Lily Jew, who beat you up, LMAO. Chris decided that he and Alexis were going on a date. They went back to Shailoma the same restaurant they went to when Chris proposed. Sitting in the booth had all those memories flooding back to Alexis, the early days of her knowing Chris. She couldn't believe they were once enemies turned fated mates. She's so grateful everything worked out. How did she get so lucky to find such a loving, giving man and great father? You're just gonna let your hump dumpling make a mess on the restaurant floor. Oh alright, look at the way Chris looks at Alexis. Call me a super soaker because I'm so well. Anyways, Chris ordered for the table. They talked about old times, when Ezra and Autumn had just been born, when she turned into a werewolf, when they got married. This date overwhelmed her with good feelings, making her feel young again. And that's when it hit Alexis. What was going to happen to Chris when she eventually passes away? He was immortal. She always liked the idea of growing old with her spouse. But she couldn't ask Chris to give up his immortality or leave the kids behind. It was something she was definitely going to have to think about. But why think when you can woohoo instead? I mean hey, she was feeling young again. And while her and Chris were getting it on in the bathroom, there was a loud noise. Oh. Poor waiter, he was just doing his job. And afterwards, for the first time since the funeral, Alexis and Christopher visited Jacob's grave in Glimmerbrook. Chris was still in shock over his first son being dead. Seeing his grave again made it all too real. And Alexis would never forget how welcoming and kind Jacob was to her when she had first moved in. And just like she had wondered about the aftermath of her own death just a bit before, she wondered how Chris would be able to go through this all over again.